Now, 2012 will be a momentous year for the United States, both politically and economically. But what about the last 12 months? This week, we're asking Channel 4 News correspondents who they think changed the world in 2011. And tonight, we've got the view from our Washington correspondent, Matt Fry. But be warned, he has bent the rules a little. Well, my first nomination actually doesn't go to one person, but lots of persons, in the shape of the Occupy Wall Street campaign. Shut down Wall Street! It spread like a sort of viral message on the web, and partly because of the web, all around the world. Now, why is this interesting, and why did it change something? It's interesting because, although my initial reaction to these people reminded me a little bit of a sort of, uh, you know, amateur dramatic society at university, you know, lots of face paint, lots of sleeping in tents, there was a kind of, inst you know, a reaction there to be a little bit snitty about it, and I was so wrong, because what was so fascinating about these people is that they articulated, embodied something that had been felt across the nation, across the nations, I should say, and that is, that the social contract in the free world, what we used to call the free world, in the capitalist world, between the citizen, the individual, and the institutions, that is government, that is the finance sector, that is the economy, the big economic conglomerates, that social contract had essentially been broken, not just by the recession, but also by the fact that people at the top of the tree were making an inordinate amount of money, the 1%. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. But also that the people at the bottom of the pile had fewer and fewer chances of actually getting up the tree. That, in other words, in American terms, the American dream was just that. It was a dream, a reverie, from which the public suddenly woke up. And here I get to my second person, uh, if I may. But there is one more thing <laughs> that I want to talk about. The late, great Steve Jobs. Why is he important and why is he connected to Wall Street? Because he created the means the beautiful designed means by which the message from Occupy Wall Street was allowed to be sent around the world. Um, I mean, if you just had to look at that square, everyone there had either an iPhone or an iPad. So, to sum it all up, it is the combination of popular anger as embodied by Occupy Wall Street and the ability of us to connect with each other through the kind of technology that Steve Jobs invented that has created a new reality everywhere. And that is we are at once feeling more empowered through the internet than ever before, but also powerless to change the way that we work, where we live, and how our governments act. So that's Matt Fry's view, nominating, as you saw, not one, but two recipients of the award. But what do you think? You can tell us on our live blog, and you can vote for the person or the movement you think had the most impact on the world in 2011. Just go to our website at channel4.com news, where you can read more about the nominations, and you can see the videos we've already broadcast.